Why is it such a critical quality for leaders and entrepreneurs in today's time uh, to actually have a higher purpose? You know, and uh, how do you find deep meaning and fulfillment uh, with this higher purpose? So I will start with a quote by Mark Twain, who says the two most important days in your life is the day you were born and the day you discover the reason why. Uh, why you were born. So if people can find the why of their life, I think they would find their purpose. And you could have many whys. It's not just one, okay? Just it doesn't mean. So you could have you could have many whys, but that why will drive you to do things which you would normally not do. And this has nothing to do with, uh, uh, I'll give a small example, uh, and I'll give our kind of professional example. There is this girl, lady who's a director in our, in, in our firm and uh, she went through a very tough board meeting uh, on approving of the accounts. She stu stood by a stand and she was roughed up at the board. And uh, the last one month, she was away from her family, children, husband. So frustrated, sitting at the red light, saying that, OK, I should quit. Then a thought dawned on her. I took the right call. Maybe I've saved many investors from losing money. The small investors in the small towns who put money into that company, I've saved. I'm just giving one example. So when you do a job like this where you're at public trust and you know everybody puts it, so the calls that you take at that time, are they going to help somebody who you've never met and you'll never meet also? By taking the right call at that time, you got roughed up, it's fine. But was it well worth the effort? And that's what actually keeps people motivated and going. And it is this that uh, also breeds the loyalty amongst people. So I think higher purpose is, uh, uh, <clears throat> like I told you earlier, it's about being your current account and your capital account. I think that's what it is. And uh, uh, so the more you start doing it, and in today's time, uh, are the CEOs, the question that I want to ask them, I'll tell you, when I left KPMG India and one very large IT firm, very, very large, IT firm came to me and said, can you, you did the higher purpose in KPMG, can you do it in our firm? I asked them, is, does the CEO, is it the CEO driven agenda? He said, no, then I said, not interested. Yes, because it's not gonna work. Yeah. Yeah. And I worked, I saw it, because in our own firm, when I gave it to HR or somebody else to do it, it never took off. I took it on my own self and uh, we got people to tell stories and actually I said that I will give one day off if we collect more than 5,000 stories. We collected it, everybody got one day off. But the point is, the uh, even today, that would have happened in uh, like 15 and now we are almost 24, almost 10 years, we are completing a decade. I meet people at the airport, they say, you know, we used to work in KPMG, we missed the higher purpose event. That event had such a, so it's not a one event, it was a build up to that event. They said, and in fact, one girl uh, who just resigned from KPMG and joined the competing firm, she said, you know, Richard, today is my last day. I just want to thank you for everything that you did. I've left the firm five, six years back. Thank you for everything that you did for me. And the higher purpose event still gives goosebumps to me. So the impact it had was amazing the kind of values that we went back to, your, your core values. So higher purpose about going back to your core values. And uh, I remember my grandfather, I used to keep arguing about these politicians being corrupt. He was a lawyer. So we sit at the dining table, we used to have these arguments. He said, I'm going to see the day you are tested, when you are tempted, how are you going to stand up to that test? And let me tell you, every time I pass that test, I think about him and I said, I did it. And I think that's the uh, that's what actually differentiates one person from another. Not going for the short-term gains, going and making some money now, getting some fees now, but are you killing your brand? Are you killing your reputation? Are you becoming like one of them? And I think that's which uh, we try to I mean try to instill into people and not get into it. So I think it's about. Um, uh, so when we have a higher purpose, you have got, you've created the whole value system. So everything you do, you put it through that prism. Does it meet these criteria? Will I sell this product? And will I not sell it? So, you know, like I, when I speak to these college kids, I said, please do not sell anything you'll not buy. It's a very common statement. But I want to re-emphasize that. And in some cases, I got standing ovation for that statement. Please do not sell anything that you would not buy. 
and uh, so uh, so you need to be honest in whatever you do so ethics is very important you need to build a sustainable and responsible organization so how are you building it how you're building this organization uh, <clears throat> and uh, obviously great companies if you see whichever great company you take it i mean you can take 95 or 98 percent of the great companies that are there have had a positive impact on the community have a huge positive impact on the community and i think uh, that is what differentiates one company a great company from another company and uh, and uh, and it's all driven by the ceo That's i mean true. how how they lead their life how they do it and you know i keep saying to everybody you know when Steve Jobs died at a very young age for because of his cancer or the, the disease he had, and he built an institution which is still thriving. I mean, whatever you may say, Apple was the first three, it's no more, no more three trillion dollar, but it's the first company which hit three trillion. And just what do they do? They make phones and <laughs> computers, like any other company. But what he built was an ecosystem, and another day I can talk about it because I'm a complete Steve Jobs fan. But, uh, um, and I've read everything that is possible about him, seen everything about him. So I think the, uh, and he also, he also inspired me a lot in what I did, you know, went on to do.